Hi, my name is Laura Flight and I'm a hydrologic technician in the Augusta, Maine office. This screencast video shows how to do a control inspection in SWAMI. A control inspection should be done for all visits to a surface water gauge. To do a control inspection, from the Site Visit task screen in SWAMI, select the Control Inspection button. The screen will now show a Streamflow Control Inspection window. The first field is a pick list for the control type. You can select either channel, section, or combined channel section. Refer to Water Supply Paper 2175, also known as RANTS, pages 10 to 11 and 286 to 287 for a description of control types. Let's select section for this example. The next field is the distance to the gauge in feet. Remember, the gauge is the monitoring point in the river not the location of the gauge house, so distances should be referenced from where the river's stage is measured, such as at the orifice cap, intake pipe, radar, or other sensor. For our section control in this example, the riffle is 50 feet downstream of the orifice. If a channel control type is selected, a distance does not need to be entered because the control is the channel geometry through the reach itself and not a defined location that is a measurable distance from the gauging location. The next field is the control cleaned pick list. For now, let's assume we did not clean the control, so I will select no. Below that is the control condition pick list. Select the control condition that best represents the status of the control. For this example, let's assume our control is clear. The last part of a control inspection is the comment field. This field should be used to elaborate on observations and to describe unusual conditions. A good rule of thumb is that a comment should be added any time the control condition is something other than clear. A picture of the control is also recommended no matter its condition. Let's now assume our section control was not clear. From the control condition pick list, we would select the condition that most appropriately describes the situation. For this example, let's select moderate debris because we found a log on the section control. Descriptors such as heavy, moderate, and light for debris and algae conditions are subjective. Additional remarks should be made in the comment field. In this case, information such as diameter and length of the log. Pictures are also recommended. From the control condition pick list, you will also see fill control changed and scour control changed conditions as options. These are important for later developing shifts and ratings for measurements. If one of these options is selected, additional supporting information such as a measured gauge height of zero flow should also be done. See the GZF inspection screencast video for more information on documenting a GZF in SWAMI. If we remove the log from the control, we would select Yes from the Control Cleaned pick list. A new property appears to note the time cleaned. Clicking on the blue Time Cleaned label will populate the field with the current time. Alternatively, you can click in the box and enter a time manually. The addition of remarks in the comment field is recommended if the control is cleaned to describe what was done. Unfortunately, there is only one control condition in SWAMI and per site visit. Therefore, it should represent the control condition in relation to the gauge height that is assigned to the discharge measurement because this is the control condition that will be assigned to the discharge measurement in GRSAT used for rating and shift analysis. For example, if a measurement was made with the log on the control, the control condition should remain moderate debris. If the log was removed and then a measurement was made, the control condition should be changed to clear. 
In this case, it is very important to note in the control and measurement comments that the control was found with moderate debris, but their measurement was made under clear control conditions. The control clean status should remain yes and the time cleaned as noted. If you have questions on the process of a control inspection in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS website at the address shown.